Hello everyone, in this video, let us create uh, a scripted post function based on uh, a single select list. Now, I have this uh, simple uh, workflow in my uh, Jira issue where I have uh, three different uh, statuses so uh, to do, done and in progress. Of course, uh, it can be a bit more complicated, but uh, uh, what I want to do, what my requirement is that uh, I don't really want this uh, in progress uh, transition. I don't really want uh, this transition to appear on the screen. Like right now, if I want, or if uh, the users with the right permission, if they want, they can uh, click on the button in progress and uh, they can do this uh, transition. So the now, so so the sta so the status of the issue will then be uh, in progress. And uh, I basically want to have some condition in place where uh, I want to check based on let us say a single select list, which is in this case called country, which is uh, a custom field. And I want that whenever the uh, value is India or only when the value is uh, India, then only this uh, button, this transition should appear. So basically anything any, anything other than India, I don't really want uh, this in progress button to appear. And it's a simple uh, condition that we need to add. But of course, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it by writing a script uh, using a script enough for Jira. Now, the first thing that I want to do is uh, I want to basically write a script which will uh, uh, fetch me the value of uh, the field, the custom field. And we have been talking about this uh, quite a lot in uh, previous videos where we have learned how to fetch a custom field value. So once you have the custom field value, custom field value, like in this case, right now I'm using a variable called as country value where I will have my value. And then I want to write some conditions based on that condition. Uh, well, if the, if, the, if the condition is true, if the country is uh, India, then only that transition should appear. Now for doing this, uh, what I will do, I will first add uh, this script as my scripted condition. So I'll go to the, uh, I'll go to the uh, project settings and then I'll uh, add a simple condition to my workflow transition. And I'll modify, of course, my workflow, which is currently used in my issue type for that particular, uh, um, I mean, I think I think my issue type is checklist. So let me uh, go to the transition called in progress. And then I can, uh, of course, add a condition here. So when you add a new condition, it is basically uh, a way to um, make sure that the that the transition only appears when that condition is true. Um, and when you click on the add button, add condition, you have a lot of a lot of inbuilt uh, conditions. And uh, some of them are, of, of course, coming from an app. Like in this case, we are using Scriptrunner. Right? So you, using Scriptrunner, right? you can also add a lot of things, wonderful things uh, you know, in your workflow. It could be a condition, it could be a validator. And we have been talking about post functions. So in this particular example, I will add. Uh, um, and by the way, you do have some some ready-made workflow conditions that you can use. But I want to use something like custom script condition. Now, when you add a custom script condition, you can uh, write your script here, and uh, you can basically um, make sure that your script also has. Uh, a variable called as passes condition. So if this if this variable is uh, true, only then the transition can uh, appear. If it is false, then it, it won't appear. So we have to use a variable like uh, on oh no, we have to use a variable passes condition. And uh, if you also click on this question mark, you can see all the binding variables that you need to use or you can use if you have to. They are they are they are for you already, so you don't have to declare them. But of course, you can do few things, further things with them if you want. So we are basically interested in this uh, variable called as uh, passive condition. I'll uh, use my script which is stored on the server. 
and uh, I will go to the file tab. I can of course paste my inline script here, but what I want to do, I want to of course add more things in my script and uh, I don't really want to come back to the workflow condition to modify it. Uh, so let, let me find my, my uh, script, which is uh, workflow condition, check select list value. And uh, you might see some, uh, uh, some, some, some warnings here, uh, but if they are mostly just static type checking, you can ignore them. Uh, but you need to be aware of, you know, what is happening. I mean, just do, do take a look at these warnings. There shouldn't be any errors. So when you click on the update, you can then save your workflow and then you can publish your workflow so that we have a new condition uh, applicable. Now, what we need to do now, we need to go back to the uh, to the issue and I'll change the value to something else, maybe UK. And uh, of course, uh, we'll, uh, I mean, right now you can see the button, but we'll uh, add a script to check if it is really India or not. Now, what I need to do, I need to use a, a variable like passes condition. And uh, by default, I want to set it to false so that we are not really displaying the transition. Um, I mean, by default, it should be not visible. So as long as this variable is false, the, um, the, the, the transition won't appear. So we have to basically dynamically change it to maybe true based on the country. So the moment I refresh my issue, you can immediately see that uh, now the uh, button to um, make this transition to in progress has uh, disappeared. But of course, if we want to change it. So let us add some logic here. So if the country value is equal to India, I want to change this to true. And this is the only thing that you need to do really. Otherwise, uh, keep it false. So let, let us uh, let us test this script. One thing that you may want to do is you may want to also convert this to maybe string because you're trying to uh, check something. And if it is string, then uh, sometimes when, you, when you're dealing with the uh, uh, custom field values, it is always good to have, you know, this conversion so that your, you know, for sure that you're matching a string to a string. And uh, if you go back to your uh, issue, let me just uh, refresh the screen and uh, the country is right now UK. So I don't think in progress should appear, but if I change it to India, let us see if the script works or not. So yes, the script works. And uh, you can see here that it is now available for us. Uh, I can change it to maybe USA. And uh, hopefully this button will disappear. So it's a very simple example. And uh, the, reason I the, the reason why I created this video is basically, um, I want to show you how uh, to make sure that you are using this variable called passes condition to true or false based on what you want to do. And it's a simple example. We are trying to do this. Uh, we're, we have added this condition based on a single select list, but it can be multi-select list. It can be some more logic. Of course, you have to eventually make sure that uh, you are setting the variables value. And uh, this is uh, all I wanted to share in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.